doing good for first club decided. Uh, yeah, we, we, we are going to accept, or Tony's going to accept the, um, the early plea. Um, we just found it uh, too risky, or he felt it was too risky, particularly with the media coverage around it, but um, to risk 10 weeks. How do you feel about that? I'm pretty disappointed, actually. I would have liked to have gone on with it, but I thought he had a, a clear case. I thought the grading was way too severe. Um, unfortunately, you don't get an explanation on why the grading is you know, a four and not a three and not a two. Um, so, I mean, I think the whole system needs an overhaul. Uh, the Players Association needs to get involved. And the, the facts need to be set out before you, you um, go to the tribunal to, to contest your case of why exactly you know, your, your, your charges are one, two, three or four. OK, and that's what people have to be clear of here is that you're not questioning the fact that you know, they had to look at the tackle. There's no loading argument here. It's just how no. the hell did they come to a grade Yeah, it four? just came to the, to the conclusion of grade four. And that, if those, stats, those facts are set out, well, then you can argue your case. But you know, you don't, if you don't find those facts out until you get into the tribunal, then it's pretty hard to mount a case. And uh, the players with a, with a waiting system um, uh, such as it, as it is, if you go in and argue your case then you get, um, and you're found guilty, then you get obviously penalised. Do you have any idea? Do you have any gut feeling? Have you been told any reason why they've come to a, with a grade four? Uh, it's very subjective. I've spoken to the, the, the uh, chairperson of the tribunal. And it's subjective and that's just the way it is. So um, if you want to argue your case, I suppose you go in and argue your case and, and uh, the results are either positive or, again, you get uh, penalised. You don't have much room for recall here, do you? I mean, you know, a lot of people will say it's just classic manly, you know. Um, you know where I'm going. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's fine. As I said, I, I just believe that it, that it was um, graded severely uh, out of proportion. The, the, the grade four was way too high. Um, so I would have liked to have argued the case, but I also understand uh, the player. He wasn't um, prepared to risk, you know, the, 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 the five weeks compared to the ten weeks. So um, I understand that, and uh, we accept it, and we just have to move on. I saw Tony leave before with a, a towel over his head. He looked like if, he, if there was a hole there, he would have jumped into it. Mate, he shattered. He shattered. You know, he, he, it wasn't, wasn't any malice in the tackle. He's a big, strong boy, and um, it went wrong, and we're not denying that. But um, you know, to see one of the future superstars of, of the game and a vital member of our team sort of, sort of taken out for, for seven weeks is, is a crushing blow for him. And, um, you know, and we'll, we'll bounce back as a team, but it's, it's, it's disappointing for him. Do you think that the system is that bad? I mean, is it, has, has it taken something like this, or do you think it's going to take more than this for them to sit back and actually do something about it? Well, it has to be transparent, you know. I mean, they have to set out exactly what the reasons are for the charges uh, and the gradings and, and go through step by step so you can argue the case in the proper proceedings. But it's so subjective at the moment that, uh, that again, you know, it's hit and miss. And, um, uh, and Tony wasn't prepared to, um, to risk that. And what's adding to your frustration is you don't seem to be getting much dialogue back from the NRL on any of this at this stage. Uh, look, I, said, I haven't spoken to the NRL about it, but um, I'm sure we will in the future. As I said, I think the Players Association have got to get more heavily involved.